now seeing uh, the crew uh, saying uh, farewell to one another, obviously uh, wishing uh, the departing crew soft landings as uh, Yui Kononenko and Lindgren prepare to make their way through the hatchway, leaving uh, Kelly Kornenko and Sergei Volkov behind uh, as a three-man crew on board the International Space Station, but for a very brief period of time, just four days. And uh, the uh, hatch uh, between uh, Rosviet and the Soyuz vehicle closed at 9.32 a.m. Moscow time, 12.32 a.m. Houston time. Hatch closed at 12.32 a.m. Central time, 9.32 a.m. Moscow time. Sergei Volkov uh, in the field of view. Uh, Undocking confirmed at uh, 12.49 and 44 seconds Moscow time, 3.49.44 Central time, Expedition 45 heading home for a landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan. We have uh, a good stay. Don't miss us too much. We'll see you in March. Thank you. Thank you for working together. We'll be waiting for you as well. Docking, uh, plane is clear and I can see it very well. Understood. SSVP mode complete. Sergei Volkov on board the International Space Station, wishing his uh, fellow cosmonaut, uh, Ali Kononenko, a good journey home, saying, uh, we'll see you in March. That's when Volkov, Scott Kelly, and Mikhail Kornienko will come home. Again, undocking occurring at uh, 3.49 and 44 seconds a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station passed over eastern Russia near the Chinese border. How is Cygnus? Sure. It's large, yeah. Uh, we're in page 97. Uh, DPO uh, ignition confirmed. And we have confirmed that the uh, separation burn has occurred. It was an eight-second burn. You can see a, a more rapid departure now uh, for the Soyuz uh, TMA-17M spacecraft. Very prominent uh, at the center of the crosshairs are the two circular ultraflex solar arrays from the orbital ATK resupply ship, the Cygnus, the SS Geek Slayton II that arrived at the International Space Station where Lindgren grappled uh, the spacecraft uh, just two days ago. Now he's heading home, wrapping up 141 days in space along with his crewmates, a journey of 2,256 orbits spanning 59.6 million miles. Sending E1. Confirmed. D1 confirmed. Sending D8. Copy. D1 is off. D-17 is off, S-11 off, uh, take another look, looking, Kimia, off, send S-18 and stay there, confirmed. A good view of the International Space Station as uh, it and the Soyuz TMA-17M spacecraft pass over the Sea of Okhotsk, heading uh, now uh, from northwest to southeast uh, on a track that will carry it across the North Pacific a short time from now. Moscow Station, can I minimize the picture? Yes.
This is Mission Control Houston. We now have confirmation that the Soyuz TMA-17M spacecraft has landed. The search and recovery forces reporting from the landing site that uh, the Soyuz uh, was found on its side. Not unusual uh, for a windy uh, landing uh, condition. The words up on the front screen here in the Mission Control Center, yes, Posadka, they've landed. Video now being received from the landing site to the northeast of Jezkazgan. A good view of uh, Kimia Yui, who's uh, being hoisted uh, in his uh, reclining chair. He'll be placed in an all-terrain vehicle uh, to be driven uh, to uh, one of the helicopters uh, that has arrived at the landing site. We uh, are also told that Alec Kononenko uh, was removed from the Soyuz capsule. Uh, Chell Lindgren uh, to be uh, removed next. Extraction of the crew is in progress with uh, Kononenko and Yui having been extracted and uh, Chell Lindgren now in the process of being extracted as well. And a good view of Chell Lindgren uh, having returned uh, from space 141 days on his first mission just two days ago. He was at the controls at the robotics workstation in the cupola of the International Space Station using the Canadarm2 robotic arm to grapple uh, the orbital ATK Cygnus resupply vehicle. And 48 hours later, he's back on Earth with his crewmates, Oleg Kononenko and Kamiya Yui, uh, looking uh, hale and hearty. Uh, they will be uh, loaded into uh, helicopters uh, for about a 35-minute or so flight uh, to Jezkazgan, uh, where they will wind up uh, ultimately being flown uh, in a NASA Gulfstream jet. Uh, that would be Lindgren and Yui uh, back to, uh, to uh, Houston. The uh, third crew member, the Soyuz commander, Oleg Kononenko, having completed his third flight into space in 533 days aggregate total to be flown back uh, to uh, Chikalovsky Airfield uh, near Star City, uh, the uh, Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center Air Base and Training Center. Uh, he will be flown back uh, to uh, be reunited with his family at his home there. A good view of uh, Chell Lindgren at the landing site. Uh, he um, is talking on a satellite phone, presumably to his family back in Houston. That's uh, typical and commonplace. Uh, the landing site is floodlit, uh, but there will be no erection of a medical tent uh, on this particular evening uh, since uh, the landing occurred uh, under uh, rather uh, harsh conditions uh, with a thick overcast. The search and recovery forces uh, deploying only four helicopters to the landing site and several all-terrain vehicles. Ale Kononenko uh, and Kamiya Yui already uh, having been uh, placed inside uh, all-terrain vehicles uh, to move uh, to uh, respective helicopters nearby. This uh, is the first uh, post-sunset landing uh, for a Soyuz vehicle uh, in International Space Station history, the sixth night landing overall, the last one occurring an hour before sunrise back in November 2012 when the Expedition 33 crew uh, brought its mission to an end, uh, Sonny Williams, Yuri Malenchenko, and Aki Hushi Day. Now Lindgren uh, being lifted uh, to be carried uh, to an all-terrain vehicle and a short ride uh, to a, a nearby helicopter uh, to begin the flight uh, back to Jezkazgan.